you're kidnapped. As you try to call 911 on your phone, you realize that your phone is at 1%. As 911 answers, your phone dies. Oh gosh. Now your only way of escaping has disappeared into thin air. But if you had used native batteries in your phone instead of lithium ion batteries, none of this would have even happened in the first place. Lithium ion batteries don't have enough room in the carbon anode to add more lithium, which caused for a low battery. Silicon could be used, but it heats up way too much in order for it to be manufactured and used. Nanowires, specifically carbon nanotubes, were discovered in 1991 by a Japanese scientist. Now, this gained a bunch of attention as they were considered quasi 1D due to the super small thickness. It was considered to have absolutely no defects to the, due to the super small thickness, and it was easily allowed for passing of electrons and photons. Now, these were better than celestine semiconductors, which usually have a problem with traveling of electrons and photons. This has various applications in energy, environment, and electronics. For instance, it's helped with energy generation and transport and they require much less material to produce. As a result, it costs much less to manufacture, have reduced reflection, higher latch light trapping, and a better band gap tuning. On the other hand, nanobatteries are extremely practical and extremely efficient. Graphene batteries have great potential to substitute for traditional materials that are currently being used, as they're incredibly strong, light, and are the most conductive. Graphene-based batteries have the capability of withstanding the volume changes of the battery electrodes during charging and discharging, incredibly reducing the chances of an internal short circuit. Researchers have also found an adaptable method for turning graphene oxide into a non-flammable, flexible, non-toxic, and mechanically strong graphene membrane that can also be used in large-scale production in order to mass produce and become a wide range of products from electric vehicles to brain machine interfaces. Now the world's top supplier of graphene, Nanotech Energy Inc. has launched a high performing non-flammable battery with a total investment of $27.5 million. The company aims to increase its large scale manufacturing of high quality graphene to make safer and much more powerful and much more long-lasting batteries. Lithium batteries are super hazardous and have a high risk of catching on fire. Now, this is a huge problem with transportation vehicles and devices that are consumer bought, since the batteries can cause a lot of damage. But using graphene batteries, this can significantly eliminate this issue. Now, these, this company is working on environmentally friendly batteries that recharges 18 times faster than most batteries on the market, beating the status quo of lithium batteries. Another company that is working on nanobatteries is NDB Inc. Now this company is working on a nano diamond battery that can last for up to 28,000 years. It uses parts of graphite nuclear reactors to obtain the carbon-14 isotope. It uses carbon-14 to make nanoscale diamonds that act as sinks by obtaining charge and carrying it out. Now there's unfortunately no prototype as of today, but an expected prototype is launching in the upcoming five years. Now these batteries are extremely versatile as they can be adapt adaptable to AA and AAA standards. Another company that's working on nanobatteries is Silica Nanotechnologies. They have raised $590 million for batteries in electrical vehicles. Looking for the most efficient materials to generate nanobatteries that are quicker to recharge and last longer is extremely crucial. Now this uses silicone based anode, which are positively charged electrodes and are replacing the typical graphite used in lithium ion leads. Now this leads to approximately 20% more efficiency, which is great for the economy. Now, while there's some speculation over whether or not this nano diamond battery is possible, NDB incorporation would be NDB Corporation creating this will be extremely life-changing. Now, NDBs are made from the carbon-14 isotope diamonds, which can be extremely unstable. However, using nanowires, we can use carbon-14 to create a battery that will last for 28,000 years before dying in the most use cases. Now, the battery can ultimately recharge on its own and could be used in extremely small, allowing implantation in the body and clothing, which makes it extremely versatile and can be used for a variety of applications. 
Now there are huge potential for nanobatteries in the scope of brain machine interfaces. Researchers have proposed the possible application of nanobatteries in high bandwidth brain machine interfaces, which can rehabilitate a patient after a stroke, as, as the paralysis is unfortunately not curable as of today. And by using silicon or graphene nanometers, around one nanometer each, these batteries can function for weeks to support the implant. We can also improve resolution and regulate long-term brain machine activity. Using nanowires, we can achieve the most inform informational and clear readings from the implants, which can provide a much more detail of brain function and increased control over neuroprosthetics, as well as in a variety of other brain degenerative diseases. Bidirection is one huge company working on this as they're looking to use nanowires and nanobatteries in biosensor applications in order to screen and monitor and eventually prevent brain injury. Currently, there's research being done in the MIT Lincoln Laboratory and the MIT Department of Materials Science and Engineering regarding water splitting technology. Crazy, right? These nanobatteries can gain charge by interacting with water molecules. Yeah, the water that we drink. The water molecules are split and hydrogen atoms are trapped in the little battery in order to store energy. Now the battery is now considered charge. In order to release the charge, the hydrogen molecules move back through reactive metal suction of battery and combine with oxygen in the surrounding air. Now, this method of technology is extremely beneficial to the economy as it can be patterned into custom geometries, making it straightforward to build complex battery patterns, which can be eventually used in a variety of applications, such as Tesla. Electric car maker Tesla Inc. plans to introduce a new low-cost long battery, long-life battery in its Model 3 sedan in China later this year or early next will it expects to bring the costs of electrical vehicles in line with gasoline models and allows EV batteries to have second and third lives in the electric power grid. Now, this is a huge breakthrough in the EV industry, especially in Tesla. Tesla is working on recycling and recovering of such expensive materials such as nickel, cobalt, and lithium through its Redwood Materials affiliate as well as the new second life applications of electrical vehicle batteries and grid storage systems, such as the one Tesla built in South Australia in 2017. And now because of nanobatteries, Musk is estimating for drive batteries to cost below 100 kilowatts hour. Currently, Tesla is collaborating with Ambrius to achieve the goal of commercializing nanobatteries. And as I mentioned, the main problem with the current status quo, with the current batteries being used, which are the lithium ion batteries, is the battery chemistry. Now, lithium ion batteries have been limited in its capacity because the batteries don't have enough storage, which leads to higher costs in order to enable more larger storages and leads to a bunch of disasters. However, this can be prevented using nano batteries. Amprium is working on a 100% silicon nanowire battery. Crazy. Silicon anodes have 10 times more capacity than carbon anodes, which mitigates the problem of low battery chemistry, which is a problem that we found lithium ion batteries suffer with. Amprium's work on silicon nanobatteries proves higher conductivity and connectivity rates. Now this results in higher battery life, which results in longer lasting vehicles, and as a result, cyber trucks and other new Tesla and EV models will last for decades. Now, as these batteries provide high mileages because of their life expectancy, Ambrium is working to cut down the mileages a little lower in order for more major affordability on different area social classes. Now, nano batteries are well on its way to creating a huge gateway and leveraging the way batteries are being used in a various of fields, not only in BCIs and EVs. And who knows, maybe the next time your upcoming phone will include nanobatteries and kidnapping range rates will plunge down. Thank you.